एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम so in the first part we have studied about the step up and the step down transformer i will teach efficiency and the voltage regulation of the transformer i am narendra kaur now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing e book link description is given in the description box now uh, in case of step down transformer which are preferred transformer we know that here e1 is more than e2 means the input value is more than the output value loss there are some losses while current in the output that is more than the input current so these step down transformers are preferred voltage is more in the input while the we will get more current so more current is a requirement now also if the voltage is more at the input and there is some losses will be occur we know that again the input voltage that is given by the output voltage plus some losses so this is given by i1 v1 cos theta1 which is equals to i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus iron loss and copper loss because losses are of two kind that is the iron loss and the copper loss this we have studied previously so efficiency of transformer efficiency efficiency of transformer that is one of the important parameter of transformer so efficiency is can be calculated that is represented by the eta which is equals to output power divided by input power so eta that is equals to input power now output power is given by i2 v2 cos theta 2 what is theta 2 here theta 2 is a angle between i2 and v2 and input power is i1 v1 cos theta 1 so this is the input power now this is equals to i2 v2 cos theta 2 here this is the input power plus total power you can see that that why we can calculate the efficiency so here is a output power now this is equals to so input power is a i1 v1 cos theta 1 plus i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus iron loss plus copper loss this is the input power r equals to cos theta 2 divided by i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus p of iron plus p of copper so this is our efficiency now percentage of efficiency that can be calculated percentage of efficiency that can be calculated by i2 v2 cos theta 2 divided by i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus iron loss plus copper loss into 100% now there are the two cases efficiency for there are two cases first one is a ideal transformer now in ideal transformer this p of iron 
means loss due to iron core and loss due to copper. So this loss is equals to zero. Then efficiency in percentage of efficiency that is calculated as I two V two cos theta two divided by I two V two cos theta two into hundred. So we will get here hundred percent efficiency. So that is the case of ideal transformer. Second one is the practical transformer. Practical transformer. This P of iron plus P of copper that is non-zero means there are some losses due to. iron and copper winding losses and hysteresis and eddy losses are also present so when we calculate this efficiency this efficiency that is less than 100% so in most of the transformer that is equivalent to 90 to 95% so this is defined as a efficiency of transformer now next is a part is a voltage regulation so second part is a voltage regulation now voltage regulation in order to study this the iron loss and the copper loss here the copper loss that can be make minimum copper loss is basically the losses due to windings so these losses can be make minimum when we take the output at the open end voltage means open circuit is used so here the output is taken at the open end so this is a open circuit so voltage is taken over the open circuit so copper losses that can be make minimum so this is known as voltage at the open circuit so this is a voltage at the open circuit second one when the voltage is taken at the closed circuit second is a voltage at the closed circuit so in the closed circuit the voltage is taken over the load so in case of open end we are using here the load so this voltage is known as fl that is means voltage over the full load then the voltage regulation that can be used calculated like this then the voltage regulation is equals to voltage at the open circuit minus voltage at the full load divided by voltage at the open circuit into 100% so this is a voltage regulation voltage regulation percentage voltage at the open circuit minus voltage at the full load divided by voltage at the open circuit into 100% so this its value is basically comes in normal cases we know that the efficiency is 90 to 95% when this voltage is calculated here its values comes again from 90 to 95% so this is a voltage regulation in case of transformer so this is a voltage regulation now so the parameter we have studied is the first one is a important parameter which we have studied one was the efficiency of transformer efficiency of transformer is basically intrinsic property of the transformer 
means these are the intrinsic features. So, efficiency of transformer that can be improved by making efficiency of uh, transformer by making the losses minimum which include the both part iron as well as copper. Iron loss is related to the core loss and these are related to the winding losses. And second part is the important feature is the voltage regulation. Now the voltage regulation that can be improved means the output making the voltage more at the output means in this is also in order to increase the efficiency. This is the property of the winding and this loss voltage regulation that can be enhanced by making the copper losses small. by making small to the copper losses means efficiency that can be enhanced by making iron loss and copper loss both combination of these two small where the iron loss include the both part hysteresis always as eddy current while the voltage regulation it is again the property of winding only. So that can be improved by making the copper losses small. So this is all about the efficiency and voltage regulation. So, in the second part, we have studied about the voltage regulation and efficiency of the losses which can be improved by uh, making the losses small in the transformer. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, kindly refer this book by the S. Chant Publishing. Ebook link description is given in the description box. If you like this video, please kindly like, subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. right holder.